Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yashahala. Koholoimla, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakhahakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Shazah Hanan Nawaf, just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And I um, just wanted to kind of touch on the book of Job. Matter of fact, let me go into this other Bible. Kind of driving right now, so, you know, I pretty much will be roughly paraphrasing the scriptures. Um, but, you know, if you're familiar with the story of Job, how Job, he lost everything, you know. But he kept his integrity. And that's very, very important to, um, to do. You know, keep your integrity when things go south or things go wrong or you know what I'm saying? Just hang on. You know what I'm saying? Use the scriptures. You know, use the scriptures. That's why it's so important to um, read, study and be loaded. You know what I'm saying? With the scriptures, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you'll have something within you that the Holy Spirit can bring back to your remembrance. Like, you know what the Lord said this, you know, because none of us are in control of anything. The Lord is in control of all things. You know, man's goings of the Lord. Um, the scriptures talks about, uh, let me see, uh, it's lock here. The scripture talks about, so something like this light, Let's see if I can get it real quick. Well, I roughly paraphrase it, but um, who, who, whoever resisted the will of the Lord, you know, you're not going to be able to resist the will of the Lord. Whatever the Lord wants done is going to be done. It's that simple. We try our hardest to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, but still you have to keep in mind, hey, the Lord, he's in control. You know, he told Pharaoh, hey, he raised him up, you know what I'm saying, just for, to, you know, to show his power. You know, roughly paraphrasing. To bring that fame to his name and show his power. Did Pharaoh have the ability to say, no, I don't want this position. No, you're not going to do that to me. No, no, he had no power at all. You know, going back to Job, you know, um, you know, his wife was like, you know, go ahead and curse Yahweh and, and, you know, pretty much just give up. He was like, hey, you sound like one of the foolish women of the world. Job kept his integrity. He lost everything. But guess what? In the end of all that, he was, you know, he, he, he was he was doubled up, man. He was gifted. You know, he, he, he lived out the rest of his life. You know, he I think he got to see four generations of his um children, children's children. You know, hey, that's that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he he, you know, he had daughters. He gave a um an inheritance to them. He had more sons, you know, but the Lord gave him everything back that he was that, that was taken from him, doubled up, man. Right? And Satan can only do what the Lord allows him to do. He he has no power to um uh, uh go around the Lord's word or his will. Because if you go into um, chapter one of Job, it gives you the whole layout. The Lord laid it all out. Like, what do you think of my servant Job? You know, what do you think of him? The Lord already knew, hey, you can do what you want to do to him. He's going to he's going to um, keep his integrity and he's going to, you know, overall fold you with the scriptures pretty much because he, you know, he kept what the scripture said. He was re he was reminding himself of the scriptures. He was, re you know, he was quoting scripture, man, you know, roughly, board, so to speak. You know, he was reminded of the Lord's goodness, the Lord's long suffering, the Lord's mercy. And that's what you had to keep in mind. You know what I'm saying? As you're going through things, you know, you might go through something and, and, and it might let you down or whatever, you know. But, you know, you you'll you'll get that spirit of anxiety, you know, trying to attack you. And you don't want that. You know, you got to use the scriptures like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The Lord didn't give me a spirit of fear, but he gave me a spirit of power, love and a sound mind. Use the scriptures, man. You know, use the scriptures. Are we going to be let down? Yeah, you're going to be let down. You're in this, this human body. Are you going to go through things? Of course, you're going to go through things. But the scripture goes off into, um, you know, your faith being built up. I've been hearing a lot of, um. Uh, 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 brothers talking about faith this week. Faith, having faith. What are you having faith in? You're having faith in the scriptures. 
If you go, you got um, um some of these guys talking about, you know, they're keeping the laws, they're keeping the laws, they're keeping the laws. And it's like, okay, but what about your house shot? You can keep all the laws you want. But when none of us are capable of keeping the laws 100 percent. So that's where, you know, and we have to, you know, we do it to the best of our ability, but we have to fall back on Yahweh Shai. That's the reason why our Lord was sent. He's the ultimate sacrifice. You know, so I'm, you know, I'm praying that this is, you know, um, edifying or encouraging lesson for somebody because you may be going through something. But hey, just know that the Lord is in control, man. Satan can't do nothing to you, uh, you know, other than what the Lord allow him to, to, to run up and do. And, and you know, it's going to be um, somewhat of a tester. Sometimes you get um you get chastened. But if you're getting chastened, guess what? The Lord loves you because if he's not chastening you, then he doesn't. It's roughly paraphrasing it, man. Some things you, you go through to build you up. You're supposed to be growing in this truth. On a day to day basis, you should be growing. And little things, you know, shouldn't toss you. You know what I'm saying? You know, the scripture talks about that. Don't be tossed to and fro. Um, don't be uh, doubtful when you're praying. Because the Lord says, you know, hey, to think that, you know, the scripture says, hey, think that you, you know, you, you won't get nothing from the Lord. If that's the case. See. Without faith, it is impossible to please the Lord. There's plenty of those scriptures on faith, man. Like I said, again, I'm driving right now. So, you know, I'm, I'm roughly paraphrasing scripture. I just, you know, kind of hit the. Uh record button i'm at the plantation right now you know so um just hit the re record button man the spirit hit me to do this little quick lesson because you just never know who needs this um this type of um talk or you know and that's where you know um the brotherhood comes in as well you know what i'm saying you know uh you know brothers being able to kick it with you and let you know certain things you know in case you go off you, you get back they get you back on track so to speak they give you encouragement. They exhort you. And you keep going, you know, because this is all a battle, man. You know what I'm saying? We we are in a spiritual, super duper spiritual battle. And um, as you go up in levels, you know what I'm saying? And this truth, you know, is going to be more and more um, on you, so to speak. You know, uh, you know, um, demons, you know, these spirits, they're going to, you know, they're going to, you know, try and attack you more so to speak you know as you grow and it's just really you growing you, you you're 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 being built up the lord taking you to another level taking you to another stage and again you can't be afraid of losing stuff man you come into the truth you're going to lose friends it, it becomes lonely you lose friends you lose um hell spouses you lose you know mom dad sometimes your house damn job cars whatever the case may be and so when it straight comes down to it you know it's going to come a point where hey we're going to lose everything anyway if, if um you know if we're part of the hopefully late because all this stuff is about to come to an end these people out here man with a million subscribers you know um, on instagram or whatever the case a uh, youtube you know hey when when shit gonna hit the fans and, and all that stuff is going to be shut down and there's going to be people out here that's just not going to know what to do because that's their life. And we're not placing ourselves in that area, man. You know, you're supposed to be detaching from Esau Edom's kingdom, man. You don't uh, uh, jump off into this place and act as if you're going to be here, a uh, part of this man's shit, man, for another 20 years. You know, we detach from this place. I've lost all kinds of YouTube channels. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you know, you, you, you get into it, you're building them up. And then all of a sudden, you know, all those videos that you've been done, them bad boys is gone. <laughs> you know, but but who who's in control of that? The Lord is in control of who watches a video. He's in control of who who sees it, when they see it. It might be um um you know just one. You might get one view on 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 a, on a video, and that that hey, that, that could have changed. You know, you 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 just never know the effects. The Lord can have somebody uh uh uh, uh thousands of miles away come across your video and just that one person can can hear that video and, and awaken to this truth that's how powerful man is this thing is you know so you can't be looking at stuff like that so again we're gonna lose stuff man you know um when the straight comes down to it we're gonna lose stuff 
it's coming to a point where this man is about to come down hardcore. He know that he had but a short time. He's about to start coming along with some real nasty laws. Going to put people in a, in a position of choice. That's when a great temptation is going to come. We want to be choosing Yahweh by Shemiah Bashai in his way. We want to, you know, the, the scriptures talks about how this wisdom and his knowledge shall be the stability of our times. We want this to kick in when 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 shit hit the fans. Not not um, leaning to your own understanding. Proverbs three and five it talks about how you're, you're not to lean lean not to thy own understanding, but trust in Yahweh by Shemiah Bashai. Acknowledge him in all your ways that your steps will be ordered by him. That this is what we're looking for in the end when when shit really gets down, man. You don't want to be uh, uh dependent upon um Esau because he got all the goodies. Because the Lord is setting it up, man. We can see, you know, through I'm you, hey, this news is getting if you're watching the news, you should be. The scripture says to watch and pray. You should be watching this news regularly. Not just here and there, not just every now and then. No, you should be you, you should be watching, man. Scouring through this stuff as long as you got time to do it. We all got stuff to do. You know, we have, you know, things to take care of. But in your, in, you know, what they call a leisure time, you should be 